Doctor, how you doing? Good. We're going to take a break because we got stuff doing stuff that's stuff doing stuff wise, right? That's yeah, we got stuff. And uh, we got a few minutes. Before, yeah. and actually, we got some time before we take break for lunch. That's what we're really doing, yeah, correct? I, I think it is. Yeah. So uh, while we uh, have time to waste and and uh, thumbs that are burned. Oh, son of a. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and get the questions and answers done. This time, okay, I, you know, not as many questions and answers. And I, I don't know if it's my fault, if it's Google Plus's fault, We've or just if, edu educated everybody. Yeah, don't have or any more questions. yeah, maybe. But we've got some. So um, before we'll we'll do is I didn't print them out, but what we'll do is get questions and answers up on your phone. But before we do, we know already because we looked at them uh, that we will have a question about miniatures. Yes. Uh, I have seen some of the coolest miniatures come from you, and of course, they're all sold. You don't have any miniatures. I don't have any. Uh, they, left. Th those things sell so fast, it's unbelievable. And the ones that I think are the coolest that I've ever seen are the hatchets of a thousand, a thousand cuts, or, or <laughs> death by a thousand cuts. Hatchets. Yes. Right. Yeah. I, I yeah. remember those. They're, they're they. Yeah, little miniature hatchets. Miniature hatchet, but they're very reminiscent of um, <laughs> of what I I am uh, told is a, a, a like a, a Malaysian car karambit. It looks like a little hatchet with maybe it's not a karambit, but I think it is a Malaysian karambit, which is a hatchet. But then with a with a uh, stag horn or something like that out the back, so it's almost right. yeah. It's very very cool. Well, of course, they didn't have stag horns out the back, but um, like a little spike horn or something right. out the back, so it could be used almost like a a uh, a palm heel strike, but then a cut with the thumb. It's very right. cool. Very cool. Um, anyway, but go ahead, sir. Yeah, I got off track again. You Dang it! Track again. So show me the miniature, and then we'll go ahead and go through the. So yeah. this is uh, hopefully you guys can pick this up. This is a mosaic Damascus three metal Damascus. Uh, there you go, sir. I got it. Miniature katana. And that is a United States quarter. And you pull the pin out of the handle, and everything comes off the suba, the hibaki, the, the handle. Mm-hmm. Um, and you can get on your that's face. kind of the the, uh, the fun ones. I, I've done, I don't know, maybe uh, maybe 10 or 15 of the uh, miniature katanas. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them, you know, match set with uh, wakasashi on a stand. Mm-hmm. Uh, done some miniature bowie knives and some miniature sub hilts. Um like a two-thirds scale sub hilt it's about that big uh, mm -hmm. ivory handles the whole bit uh, little bowie knives did a uh, Persian scimitar three inches long Sweet. Um, with a uh, ivory handle with uh, ruby set in two rubies set in the pommel uh, or the side of it rather uh, big long swooping guard the whole bit mm. it was, was kind of cool uh, so yeah that's the uh, that's that's the answer is yes. Need this one. Um, Just flip it around. Yeah, thank I, you. Uh, I have done miniatures. Awesome. <laughs> so if you want to get your phone up, and we'll get the questions I'll get my phone on up. the uh, pause. Yes, sir. Pause. Be right back. All right, sir. We're back. We're back. Bang. Bang. Um, we got you got your. Uh, I got my uh, phone here with the uh, list here. All right. Serene Madness wants to know. What? Uh, <laughs> What's up, brother Paul? That guy. I'm telling you. <laughs> Very cool guy. Yeah. Uh, the whole Serene Madness family is excellent. Yeah. Um, I I uh, I know because he, you know he asked the question. He is. The, what is the name of? I'm getting all off track. You are. He's the one that asked plenty yeah. times about something. Let's read his question first. Uh, I want to know what his favorite knife he made, and uh, what was his favorite knife he made, and does he still have it? Absolutely no. I do not have it. Um, my wife keeps reminding me that I'm in the business of selling knives, not keeping them. She's yours also, huh, sir? Yeah. Uh, my first, the, well, this knife, when I made it the first time, uh, it actually got a name, and it's just referred to as my favorite because I drove my wife nuts running around the house the first time I did it, saying, I like this knife. And uh, so mm -hmm. I decided to keep it, sent it out to an engraver, and it was stolen. And I took that as a uh, omen. 
not to own one of my own knives. Mm. And so from there on out, I only borrow them. Now, was it getting your name engraved or was it getting actually full engraving? It was getting uh, the bolsters, which were about an inch square, done with an animal carving. What was the knife? It was uh, 01 nickel silver bolsters with uh, uh, buffalo horn handle. And what was uh, the style of knife? What was the profile? I still make it. It's it's the my favorite knife. It's uh, uh, it's a, just a hunting drop point. Um, eight inches, six inches, something like that. Probably probably about eight and a half inches. Mm -hmm. uh, not quite fifty fifty mm -hmm. uh, on the blade and handle. Um, very reminiscent of uh, the nineteen seventies stuff that Bob Loveless was doing. Mm -hmm. uh, R.W. Wilson, it was probably one of R.W.'s patterns. Uh, he's, he's one of my teachers, hmm. uh, in case anybody doesn't know who he is. R.W. is, is, is really cool knife designs, so really cool grind, yeah, he, you uh, know, just very, very detailed in the, um, the minute stuff. Yeah, he, was, uh, he was one of the original uh, founders of the Knife Makers Guild back in 1970, or I think he actually technically joined in 71. Um, but he, his claim to fame was he made the tomahawks for the movie Jeremiah Johnson. How cool is that? And how cool is that? <laughs> All right. All right. So All what, right. Uh, what else did my, my friend, brother Paul have to say? Um, he wants some poop. He wants the, he say, states it is concrete, but it's not concrete, is it, sir? It's good night. Good night. <laughs> good night. Good night. Uh, and, and, uh, you know, we, we, I actually, on more than one, Tell me if I'm lying, sir. On more than one occasion throughout the winter, you I have ha been looking for poop. I have been looking for goodnight poop. Yes. And, and, and <laughs> that's not a joke. I'll go ahead and kick around in the dang snow yep, piles yep. out there. And he it, was about a half mile off. I was. I wasn't even dead. He'd have been kicking <laughs> for years close. looking for poop. All right. So we do have some soon. Yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, soon. Uh, you know, uh, we won't. You know, we'll have to figure it out. But uh, go ahead. Yeah, with Jonathan uh, uh, 0055, yep. he was the What's one up, that Jonathan? had to ask about the uh, miniatures. Uh, Jonathan asked about miniatures. He's also uh, returned a questionnaire. I believe what we should state it as. As Jonathan was the one to ask you about the crunching oil last time, sir. Oh wait. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. So we, you know, much respect to Jonathan and uh, Jay Lane. Jay Lane has asked, uh, what is uh, our preferred thickness on general use, everyday carry knives? Um, and what is your preferred cutting profile? Okay, so Jonathan asked about the miniatures. We went over it, and yeah. the, the uh, Jay Lane was uh, EDC thickness. And yeah, what, what's your pref preferred thickness of knife and oh, wood grind? That's, profile. That's, that's easy for me, but cutting profile. I'm on a. I'll let you go ahead and start. Uh, well, it's easy for me too. Three sixteenths. Yeah. Um, or thicker. <laughs> yeah. For an EDC. Uh, for anything, I just I just don't like ultra light knives myself. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like the way the grind comes out. I like to have more steel to make a deeper hollow. Yes. I hollow grind. Yes, sir. In case nobody noticed, um, and the heavier steel gives me more to work with. Yes, uh, and it's not like you you do hollow grind, but you have an absolutely ridiculous high performing grind on it. Uh, you well, know, I try and bring the edge down. We, thin. Yes, uh, we we have seen on video for so. my friend Smoke Eater nine oh eight. Uh, Robbie's had a test of uh, the what was it? It wasn't uh, oh, it was gift wrap paper. Gift, remember? Gift wrap and tissue paper. Yeah, we yes. get we get some high performance grind. That was belt. Off a belt and then off of uh, the buffing wheel. Off the buffing wheel, yeah. So, so. high performance. Um, so that's you know that's that's what I do. I I I like a hollow grind for a number of, of reasons. Um, it looks cool. It's a it is best looking grind. Uh, you know, it's, hollow convex um, it's fast or, or for me flat. To make. Yeah. Um, it adds to the stiffness of a knife because you're changing the. Uh, the contour of the face of the blade, whereas a, f a flat grind is a knife that will bend. That's a fillet knife. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> and is that the question? Preferred cutting profile? That's that's hollow ground. All right. Personally, I like uh, 
187 or a little thinner actually I actually like for everyday carry I like a lighter knife uh, I don't like uh, because I I do utilitarian tasks a lot but I also want a secondary or tertiary defensive system um, I like you know high performance and let's see if I get the reflection mm -hmm. this is uh, CPM D2 so Oh, right there behind the light. That's why. Ah, not light. But I like thinner blades, sir. I like. Uh, I like. I'm very quickly going to uh, hollow grind because I of all the pros that you said. For myself, a hollow grind uh, is still more difficult to obtain a ultra high performance grind like this. Like I, you know, because I have so many hours and so many yards mm -hmm. on a flat grind. Uh, that's the easier system to for for me at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, oh, now you know I love Tonto. <laughs> yeah, I love a hybrid Tonto. That's it. <laughs> you know, but there's so many great. My favorite, my favorite's probably still the the hybrid Persian. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, but jeez, then you got the the tactical or the martial law. Uh, those oh, just jeez, I man, I can't. Okay, here you go. If it's a knife. It, it, and it's got a profile to it. That's my favorite. Yeah. Yeah, I think I so. You said you like this one. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I like your traditional tantos. I like everything. Yeah. So. Uh, that's uh, that was the last of the questions. That's it. So sir? we're uh, we're good. Out. Sir. Bye. Uh, time so. to get some lunch. Yes. Out and coffee. Out and something else. Uh.